Hello and welcome. I'm Millicent Walker. Tonight, Nigerians await outcome of the presidential and national assembly elections as INEC opens Resort Collation Center. INEC chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu says the commission is aware of thuggery, burning of ballots and other infractions, regrets the death of an ad hoc staff. Governor Siraki Dixon and his predecessor Timmy Pre Silva trade words over last Saturday's election in Bayelsa State. And Senegal is also holding its general elections as voting open today to elect a new president. Nigerians and indeed the global community are waiting on INEC for the release of the Presidential and National Assembly results. The chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, during a briefing and stakeholders meeting today, announced that collation of results has commenced and the commission will eventually announce the results when the exercise is concluded. Our correspondent Gloria Muzuke reports. <laughs> 24 hours after the first phase of elections was concluded, Chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission briefs the media on the outcome of Saturday's presidential and National Assembly elections. There are places where materials arrive late for voting to proceed. After consultation with the communities involved and in line with our regulations and guidelines, new smart carriers are very configured and deployed for elections in the affected polling units. Right now, elections are either ongoing or have just been concluded in some polling units in Abia, Bayelsa, Binwe, Plato, Zampara, and one polling unit in Pinchi, local government area of Sokoto State, and in Kuje Area Council of the Federal Capital Territory. We are determined that the vote of every Nigerian is important and must count. He then speaks of a polling booth in Lagos where hoodlums disrupted the exercise, but the worst case appears to be Rivers, where an ad hoc staff of INEC was killed. We have a responsibility to the young Nigerians who have engaged to help us conduct elections. And I personally feel touched when anything, anything befalls any of the ad hoc staff we engage. And you can imagine, uh, having put them through education, and they are now at the last lap serving the nation, and in that context also serving the country to conduct credible elections, and somebody snips life out of them. Um, I really feel it. So my focus is more on the staff that we have engaged. Um, some have been injured, um, some were abducted. We work with the security agencies to secure their release, but our heart also goes out to the families of all Nigerians who lost their loved ones um, on account of last Saturday's elections. Professor Yakubu also notes that the only reason why the commission introduced an armed security personnel at polling units was to encourage voters. But given incidents recorded, it may review that decision. He appealed for more caution from the social media. Please be circumspect in the way we report, particularly the outcome of elections. I've seen some of the reports say one candidate has been declared winner. And then when you read it, they will say, in his polling unit. <laughs> As INEC frowns at disruptions during elections across the nation, it's restated its promise not to fail the nation, as it promises to make the declaration of who the next president will be in no distant future. From the International Conference Center, Gloria Umezuki, Channels Television News. In the meantime, Nigerians may have to wait till 11 a.m. on Monday, February the 25th, to hear from the INEC chairman the verified results for the presidential and national assembly elections. In a meeting with stakeholders, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu announced the procedure and rules guiding the declaration of results. Results for each state of the federation and the federal capital territory shall be presented by the state coalition officer for the presidential election, SCOPE. After collecting the results at state level, 
the scope shall be accompanied to Abuja by the resident electoral commissioner and security agencies. The returning officer, that is myself, shall invite the scope accompanied by the REC to the seat provided for the presentation of result. The scope, following the format for the presentation of results, shall announce the votes scored by each political party in the state, including reports of cancellations and areas where elections did not hold, if any. The returning officer requests the scope to hand over the original copy of form EC8D. When all the scopes have presented their results, the returning officer shall display the sealed copies of the result sheets. The returning officer then completes form EC8D and announce the votes scored by each party and thereafter invites the polling agents to endorse the forms. Now, following the violence that marred the presidential election in Bayasu State in the south south region of the country, the state governor, Sirika Dixon, and former governor, Timmy Pere Silva, have been playing the blame game on who's responsible for the mayhem. While Governor Dixon is insisting Mr. Silva is the mastermind behind the crisis with support from military personnel, the former Governor Silva says a former local government chairman who was reportedly arrested with arms is working for Governor Dixon. Our state, as we speak, is under invasion. From all available intelligence, our state is under attack. And I don't know what we have done to the federal government of Nigeria, that they have turned our state into a garrison of sorts. Yes, the military officers have a role in providing escort duties. Yes, I appreciate that, and I commend them when they diligently perform those duties. But when they convert themselves to aid and abet terrorism, because that's clearly what it is, if people brandish weapons, shoot, terrorize people, scare people, overwhelm people, and then force them to do things that they otherwise would not have done, that is terrorism. And they hold them hostage, actually. They started from Friday night shooting at people. And you all know that one person was killed. One person was killed in Basabri. Several shot, several injured. The houses of all PDP leaders attacked. Bullet wounds are there, their vehicles vandalized. That is the politics now. That is normal politics in Nigeria now, in Basabri. The government of Bayelsa State will set up a commission of inquiry that will document again the roles and activities and identities of all officers, whether you are INEC, whether you are a coalition officer, whether you are an SPO, whether you are a returning officer, who works to authenticate a fraud. I heard of the killings in River State, it's unfortunate. I heard that a few people died also in Bayesha State in the course of the election, it's unfortunate. There should be no violence. Violence is not a part of electioneering. People should get that into their head. And the, 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 the earlier we begin to go to the polls and conduct ourselves peacefully, the better for all of us. Because we can't continue like this. We can't continue like this, killing ourselves every time there is election. We can't continue like this. And I keep saying, it's very unfortunate, I must say. Yesterday, I was, there were pictures on uh, social media, um, arms that were seized from an acting local government chairman. I'm sure you have also seen those pictures. That acting local government chairman is not working with me, Pre Silva. Is a local government chairman that is working with Governor Dixon. And I alerted the world that people like that are being appointed 
specifically so that they can now become useful to him during the election to shoot to do what is what they know best to shoot but of course people didn't listen to me and just a few days ago they arrested scores of young men working for that local government uh, chairman and a lot of ammunition belonging to that local government chairman they are not working for me in the aftermath of the election, the United States Consul General John Bray is asking warring parties in River State to sheath their sword. This comes on the heels of violence in Abonima town as well as in Akukutoru local government area of River State during Saturday's election. The state governor, Yesumwike, has condemned the unfortunate event, adding that the families of the deceased will be taken care of. Let's take a listen to both of them. Let it be known that those who must have the murderous assault on Abonima and other communities in River State last Saturday have blood stains on their hands, for which they are unanswerable before the Almighty God. I wish to assure all and sundry that we shall as a government pursue justice for the families of the victims against the perpetrators of the men killings and destructions in Abonima and other communities in the Calabar Kingdom. I'm not here to grade elections or anything like that. We're here to just say there's been enough violence. Enough people have died. And I'm here today speaking with the different candidates and party leaders. During in Benway State, as the governor Samuel Otom physically led protesters today to the INEC Collation Center in the state, he told journalists that the opposition party is plotting to obtain the results of the elections held on Saturday. But the former governor of the state, Chief George Akume, dismisses the governor's allegation, calling it untrue. This is not the first time since 1992 I've been winning election in my local government because I've always stood for the people and represented the people. So they have always supported my cause anytime I come. And so there is no business whatsoever. The card reader is there, the process is there, the rules of the game is there. And let's see whether we have flooded any process whatsoever. There is no basis whatsoever. He should be calling for cancellation of election. It's in no world. We have also petitioned that there are issues with certain words that they chase away our agents and drew them away and uh, never wanted them to vote. I, I have never seen a man in such a position of responsibility behave this way. He cannot substantiate what he has told you. Nobody has seen me with any military personnel. Nobody has seen me with uh, policemen going up and down. I voted in my own local uh, uh, polling unit and I retired to my, to my house. Later in the evening, I left for Makadi. But anybody who knows this governor will always conclude that uh, he's a man of violence. He has created violence in Benue State. He secretes violence.